guys welcome back to my channel for this video um i just want to quickly say i haven't done this in a while i kind of was off doing other things um we're finally getting back to my shop my stashes i do these every two to three weeks um it's been every two weeks but since the holidays and everything i kind of got behind and everything that you see here is what i've had probably since december so I want to move things around. Some of these are newer, so they, I, I just put these in here. I will keep these out. So I have the new, well, it's not new, but it's new to me, the Transfer Matte Natasha Dona Pore Vanishing Matte Foundation. And then I also have the Rare Beauty Foundation, which I'm trying. So these actually will stay on my vanity um, top right here. I do have, like you guys saw my previous uh, unofficial projects pan items that I'm obviously working through, um, but I want to change these up and, you know, do a different product rotation and show you guys what I've had. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe. I hope you guys find the time to, you know, hopefully join my um, little community. I don't have a lot of followers, but hopefully something. So um, let's go ahead and just quickly talk about the foundations that were in my current um or actually are here. So this is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. Sorry, it's my dog jingles. So um, I have a shade for warm. This is a little bit too light for me, but obviously right now in the winter, it is per my perfect shade. Um, still a little bit um, light, but I, I make it work, obviously. Um, I wish I had a little bit of a deeper shade because I do enjoy this foundation a whole lot, but this actually will get switched out for something else. For concealers, I have two concealers and then one that I'm trying to see if I'm going to get rid of or not. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Light 50W Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. This one's going to stay here for a while. I'm, I'm working through this one to see how I feel 100% about it. I feel like this one for some reason is going bad and I haven't even had it that long so that's there. I also was using the Kosas Concealer in 3.5 just to test it out. This is a little bit newer to me um, and this is something that I've had to like kind of make work for me. Um, it's a little bit peachy like a little bit more warm. I'm not sure how the tones of this concealer are 100% but this is really yellow um, and then for that reason I have to make sure that I use it like on a more natural uh, base like if I do like a lightweight uh, foundation so that wasn't really working with the full coverage uh, foundation that I had but I kind of made it work with my shot my stash or unofficial product pan uh, foundation which is the Too Faced. I also have the essential high coverage liquid concealer from Jouer which is in the, the color wheat my perfect shade is Creme Cafe, but I do have this one, so I'm working through that one. Uh, for powders, I have the Blur and Set Matte Loose Setting Powder from Milk Makeup. I actually took the stop route, and I'm actually working through this powder, and I think I'm doing a pretty good job moving along with this powder, um, but obviously I'll switch it out for something else. I do like this powder. You guys will see my um, collection is reduced. I did declutter some items, and I have a video coming soon with that. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and talk about what, like I said, what's in my shot my session when I'm rotating. I have two bronzers. I have the Catkin bronzer in 03, which is an Amazon find. This is a really nice bronzer. Like I said, perfect shade for me right now. I have the Th Thrive Araya bronzer. This is a really good matte sculpt and bronzing powder. really like those. I also have two kind of palette-ish. Um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. I actually like this for contouring, especially now in the winter time. It works a little bit better for me. And then I also have the Becca Chloe and Malika palette. Um, this is something that I just like really enjoy. I love these blushes. They're really nice. Same thing with the highlighter and the bronzer. I like this palette as a whole. It's a really nice palette. Obviously, you can probably no longer get this. I'm sure you can find it on like other, you know, second sellers or some stuff like that. But I do like this palette, so that's why it's staying in my collection for now. I know you can no longer get it. Moving on with um, some single shadows that I have in here, which I've been working through. I have one for Maybelline, a MAC, and two ColourPop ones. Two or three ColourPop shadows. So let's quickly talk about these. I uh, This is the Color Tattoo High Roller Maybelline Single Shadow. I really love this one. Um, I know Jessica Brown mentioned this is a really good dupe for Marie Antoinette from Charlotte Tilbury, which is no longer available. I can't find that anywhere. Um, and I do really love this shadow. It's really, really pretty. I think this is a really good everyday shadow for all over the lid. So I will be keeping this one. I do enjoy it a whole lot. I also have three from ColourPop. The first one is um, Under the Sea, which is the Disney Designer Collection. It's a green color. I love it. I used it because of one of the palettes that I have in, have had in my shop, my stash. Another one is A Whole New World from the Disney Designer Collection. It's a purple. You can see I really enjoy this one. These are kind of easier to hit pan on, but you can obviously manage and make it you know, move the products around, but this is a really pretty light purple. Um, 
I also have the ColourPop shadow in Ritz, which is actually my favorite topper shadow. I really like this as a topper on some of my um, looks. You can see it doesn't really have much of a base, so this is like more of a shadow topper for me, but I really love it. And then last I had the MAC. This is the P is for pink. P for pink. It's like more of a little bit of a loose glitter, but it's still very, very pretty. It has like a little bit of a shift uh, pink to like kind of, I don't know how to describe it, because to me it looks like light orange and then on the camera it looks like pink so it has a little bit of a shift these are the dazzle shadows for mac i think yeah shiny pretty shadow i don't know but i got these a while back as well um on a sale so i really like that one for eyeshadow palettes i had four eyeshadow palettes in my uh rotation these have been here like i said a while this is a tartlet in bloom this is a really good oldie bit of goodie this is a really nice palette it's really good neutral every days i've been having a little bit of a trouble blending some of these deeper ones out i think this is just getting a little bit old, but I do enjoy this one, especially for traveling, so I will be keeping it. I also have the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions, which I love. I love making beautiful greens. This mint shade is super pretty. Same thing with these shimmers. I just really enjoy this palette as a whole. Um, I think compared to my Just My Luck from ColourPop, I do prefer this one. Oops. Just because of the difference in, you know, formulations, like as far as the glitters, um, some more satin colors, and, you know, the deeper... Because kind of you have a little bit of everything here. I have the Dream Street... ColourPop and Kathleen Lights palette. This is also another oldie but a goodie. Um, I love using this around the holidays. This shade here is very beautiful on the lid. It's like a kind of like a silvery, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like a silvery shift of blue-ish. It's really pretty. It's really unique to my collection. I also um, kind of made my, myself, made an effort to work with these blues because I kind of have been lacking using a lot of like deeper tones on my skin or like a lot of super bright looks. And I did enjoy this one, like especially with these blues and the, that silver color. It's just really, really pretty. And I really see, I kind of rediscovered this palette and re-fell in love with it because I kind of have neglected it a little bit in my collection. Moving on, the last palette that I'm going to shop my stash is the Urban Decay Naked Reload, and I really enjoy this palette. As a, um, I know a lot of people say that this is like a really neutral palette, and it's not really what they expect it to be replaced with an original Naked palette, but to me, this is a really nice palette. I think I've done some really different looks. I've done a lot of like pinky, kind of more neutral looks. Um, obviously, you have, you know, deeper shades. You can always make a, like a smoky eye. I think you can go a lot of ways with this palette, and I really enjoy it, and I love the packaging also. Two highlighters that went in my shop my stash. I have the Jessica Rabbit and Ciate London um uh, single highlighter in Roger Darling. This was like a limited edition one. I do have a backup of this, so I don't mind using this one up, but I'm working through this one. I also have the Anastasia Beverly Hills I'm Reezy, which is a favorite. A lot of a lot of people have this one and do enjoy it. I like it as well. It's a little bit more, you can obviously make it more intense. It's like gives you that wet look. Um, and you can obviously, you know, make it however you want. I really think this is a really good everyday highlighter. So those are the ones that were in my shop my stash. For primers, I only had this one from Forsali. This is the Skin Tune Blur Primer. I think this primer, honestly, is just really hard to get out of the packaging. I don't have a lot of this left. To be honest, I, I would see about maybe a fourth of the bottle left. You can kind of see down there. It's not, it doesn't have a lot of product. Like I said, I wish they, they made this um, primer in a different, either with a pump or something like that, because it is hard to get out of the container. Um, so yeah, that is what I currently had in my shop mustache for probably the last, I want to say last three weeks, um, you know, last, maybe more since we're already had a, halfway through the month of 2021, the first month of 2021. So, um, I also wanted to show also you guys have some single shadows, I have another single shadow. This is a single shadow from Rare Beauty. It's a liquid shadow. It's in the shade Mauve, Nearly Mauve. It is newer to me if you saw my Rare Beauty video. Um, you go ahead and go on my channel. You can find that one there. I did try out some new Rare Beauty products in that video. And these are part of it. This is probably going to stay also out here. So um, a lot of these things that you will see in my vanity are what I have now. That's my current collection. After my um, collection, like I said, I did declutter. So whatever's in my makeup inventory actually went down. Um, so I'm really happy about that, honestly, to be truly honest, because I feel like I was really overwhelmed by a lot of my things, um, and that, that declutter just made it a lot better for me. So we're gonna go into my foundation and bronzer, or I'm sorry, foundations, drawer, we're gonna go into my bronzer, blushes, you guys will see a lot of it. So yeah, let's go ahead and get to that. Alright, so hopefully you can get a good view. This is where I have all my foundations, my um concealers powders um some primers and sponges sorry the strings in the way this is actually what's going to my ring light so i can't really 
do it much with that one. But um, let's talk about foundations. Um, I really have been wanting to reach a lot more for like light coverage. Um, then again, I have these two that I'm trying out. So I think with these two will be enough. I have the, like I said, Natasha Nona Transfer Matte and the Rare Beauty. I think I'm going to keep these in my um, two-week rotation. So these, were gonna, these are going to stay as well as adding a the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer i want to try this out a lot more i've been kind of neglecting it i really love it in the beginning like for everyday quickness um i do love it but i like i said i've been neglecting it so i want to pull that out as well for concealer i'm not really sure what i want to do for concealer i kind of want to just use my good trusty nars and also pull out the one i've been loving um i kind of pull this out and in, in constantly but this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect, and I just love how it looks under my eyes. This is a really good do for the Tarte Shape Tape, but it's a really good hydrating one. It's not super drying like the Tarte Shape Tape is. So I think these are these are what's going to come out for my rotation. For powders, I for sure want to pull out a, um, this is the Tarte Kind is a New Pretty Shape Tape Powder Foundation, but this is more, um, to, to work in, 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 in with this one, because I, when I use this, I also use this on top. Um, just to add a little bit extra coverage. Um, this is a really lightweight powder, so I think it looks really nice over something like this. So, tinted moisturizer. So, I'll pull that one. For under my eyes, I'm going to pull the Charlotte Tilbury, of course, my airbrush flawless finish. I love this. Can't live without it. So, I'm going to pull that. And I think that is it for powders and foundations. I want to do a little bit more of a, like... I want to try doing like everyday makeup videos like of actually things that I do on my face like my real makeup every day so I think I'm going to pull these two for primers I'm going to do the elf poreless putty which is my favorite this has turned into my holy grail and then the Thomas Peter Roth Peter Thomas Roth skin to die for no filter mattifying primer I want to try this one out more I did buy this last year at the end of last year so this is something that I want to also try a little bit more um, and then I think that's it for this drawer. Uh, I don't see anything else that it kind of catches my eye. I did pick up another shade of the Pretty Fresh um, foundation just to be my like, current shade. This is the shade, shade Light 55N, which I think is like my perfect match. This is a little bit too light, but I still will keep it because I do like to add it to some more, you know, darker foundations. Um, I also kind of want to pull my Hydra Veil. This is the Illamasqua Hydra Veil Primer. I need to get more use of this. I got it in an Ipsy box. Um, this is like a jelly primer, but I haven't really tried it as much. I kind of tried it in the beginning, didn't really like it. I think I'm going to switch this out for my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, just because I do want to get more use of this and try it out more. So let's do that. Um, I'll grab some sponges really quickly here because I do need to do that. I'm going to grab some from Juno & Co. and then this Morphe one just to get those out of the way. Um, let's go into my blush and um blush and bronzer so i have a little cardigan thing because i'm freezing so all right um i you can see i reduced my collection a lot this is basically what's in my collection now this is just a found jewelry so this is gonna go, kind of go in the back but i did reduce my collection a lot which i'm really happy about um and that's basically what's in it now i do want to pull out some things that i've been neglecting i do love this you know these creams this is new to me, so I want to try it out more. This is the Rare Beauty Blush in Nearly Mauve. So I'm going to pull this one out because it is new and I want to try it out more. I also want to try out, oh, where is it? This is the Bounce and Blur from Bare Minerals and Coral Cloud. I want to try this one a lot more. I love this. It's like a hybrid of a powder and a cream. It's like really, you can see the indents on my finger in it. It's a really nice color as well for every day. I think these two will be okay. And then I'm also going to pull out... My Milani um, Luminol, so I just want to work through this one a little bit more. It's kind of been neglected, getting a little bit old, so I want to work through that one as well. For bronzer, I don't even know what I want to do for bronzer, to be honest. I kind of just want to pull, like, something that I already know, but I I want to do a cream product. Um, let's pull out this one. This can get a little bit more love. Actually, you know what? No. I'm going to keep this in here because I'm actually going to you guys what I want to use this rotation as well I'm gonna work with these two for my unofficial product pan I'm gonna keep them in my rotation because I know I will reach for them obviously this is the cream bronzer from Fenty Beauty um, in the shade Butter Biscuit I'm gonna pull this one as well as the Fenty Beauty Shady Biz bronzer because I do want to get this one I feel like I'm pretty much hit pan on this one pretty soon because I do see the pan um 
outline so those are gonna stay in my product rotation i think that's it for this for highlighters i want to go with something more natural i want to use the essence pure nude highlighter as well as my where is it um I don't really know. I think I'm going to do this little mini. This is an RMS Beauty Mini in um, Luminizing or er, Grand Day Dame. I got it in like a little, my recent last year Sephora haul, like end of year Sephora haul. Um, and I really like this one. It's really pretty. It's like really natural every day. Same with the essence. So I think I'm going to pull these two for my rotation. And then we're going to go into eyeshadow palettes. So let's go over to that. So you're kind of in the corner. I kind of switched my room around if you didn't see my last setup. I'm switching my room around so things are a little bit different. This is like just lashes and stuff that I use. Like I have like utensils and stuff here that I keep. This is the first drawer of palettes. I did reorganize all my palettes. And like I said, there's a declutter video coming right up next. Um, so this is what I currently have in my collection. Um, I'm still working on decluttering some of these palettes because like I said, I have to make sure that I do declutter some of these. Um, what I want to do is I want to pull out a single palette. I have these single shadows from ColourPop and I want to use these. So I want to pull this palette out as a whole. I also want to use my So Jaded palette from ColourPop. I know it's like a lot of ColourPop, but I know it's like a similar color story. It's really crazy how similar these are, like my single shadows to this. But I do want to use these more. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to do the single shadows. And I'm going to do something else. Um, a bunch of singles. I want to do like more Valentine's Day looks. So I kind of know what I want to pull. I think I want to do the new nudes. I want to do this palette as well as... sorry here it is the Paris edit I also want to pull the Paris edit I want to do like more Valentine's Day looks I saw that Natasha just recently released a palette it's a mini love palette but I think I'm pretty good with these shades as far as that palette and I want to work with these to make sure that I do enjoy the looks that I come out with so these are also going to go in my shop my stash for the next two week rotation I think I'll be good with this setup if not I will just add this little everyday um, palette from Natasha Denona this is the camel palette I'll just add that just in case. Um, again, like I said, my palettes are being going to be decluttered eventually. And that's something I'm trying to make a point. Oh, why is this stuck? This is the issue. This is why I need to declutter because I have so many palettes. All right, so I have some single shadows here. I'm going to do like a little quick. Um, I guess I'm going to just pull out what I want to use. I want to do the Stila Kitten single shadow. And then I'm also going to pull this L'Oreal um, Chromatic Bronze and ask if... Like I said, I'm trying to do like more Valentine looks, so I'm going to pull these two. And then I'm also going to do my Pat McGrath Crystalline Pigment in Angel Dust. Said I know Natasha Nero just released a bunch of new, um, like her love line. It's like a love mini and a duo for blush and cheek. And a lot of people were saying that it's similar to the Daria palette, this blush and highlighter. So I'm going to pull this palette as well um, for my product rotation. Okay. So I'm going to do that palette for sure. Um, I'm gonna put these sponges back here. So, I pulled out the Milani Baked Blush as well as the Rare Beauty um, Nearly Mauve Blush. And I think I'm gonna put this one back because I have too many blushes already. This is the Bare Minerals. I'll put this one back um, in my in my product um, bin in my you know collection but for a concealer I pulled out the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer I think I'm pretty much almost done with this one it's almost empty and I can pretty much work through this one as soon as I can um, and I won't be repurchasing one this year again I know I love that one but I'm not going to repurchase it this year I have the Conceal and Perfect from Milani as well Hydroville Primer um, from Lamasca as well as the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For Primer for foundations, I have the Natasha Dona Transfer Matte, Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic uh, Tinted Moisturizer, and the Rare Beauty. Um, for powders, I have the Charlotte Tilbury and the Kind of New Pretty from Tarte. I also have like a mini Charlotte Tilbury, so it's really cute. Alright, so let's put these here. Um, for bronzer, I have the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer and the Powder Bronzer. I have Shady Biz and Butter Biscuit. So these are going to stay for 
bronzer and for highlighter i have the pure essence nude highlighter in be my light be my highlight and the rms beauty luminizing powder in grande dame so these are pretty similar um again i just want to use these and obviously the diamond and blush palette has more highlights if i need be but um and then i'm gonna put the single shadows in here as well for palettes i have the Paris Edit from Visart. This is the Paris Edit palette. It's very pretty. It's like a more romantic palette to me. And I want to pull this one because, like I said, Natasha Ona just released a new mini palette. But I think I have these shades. And I will be doing a video soon as well. Like, should I buy it? Should I not? Because I do see a lot of collections that are coming out. Um, I know also Angelica Nikabist. Nikabist I'm, so, I'm sorry if I'm saying that name wrong. She released a new palette with Kaleidos. And I've always wanted to try Kaleidos and I've never gotten around to it. So that's something that I'm hopefully looking to get gifted. Hopefully my husband will buy it for me. <laughs> but I also pulled the Huda Beauty New Nudes just to pull out the same color story. I want to use more of these. And then my ColourPop singles here are also pulled because I do want to get more use of these. And I can see this color story being a really romantic Valentine's Day color story. And just using these up more again. So these are going to also be here. Let me rearrange a little bit here. And then I also pulled the Camel palette, just in case I want to do like an everyday look really quickly with this. I could just pull that palette out. So it's also there. Alright, so I think that is it for my pro uh, two-week rotation. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video. I hope you guys like the button. I hope you guys find the time to hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. I do have videos coming up of me doing my makeup, so that will be exciting. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good day, night, wherever you guys are, whenever you see this video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.